Hi guys, my name is Alessio, I'm the executive chef of Bexley Academy. I'm working uh, for a catering company called Cucina IFG in Pat Food Group. And uh, we are not only a company which uh, supply catering uh, for school, but now we are, as, uh, as we know, we are in a little bit dark time and we are uh, on, uh, on a uh, okay, worker. So what I would like to do for all these people are home, uh, thanks God, uh, save, save all, all of us. I'm gonna show you a very simple recipe which can be used for uh, um, any sort of uh, bread, pizza, and, uh, and whatever you can guys would like to do. As you can come here, I uh, can show you, we got a mix of, um, we're using a strong, strong flour, um, which is in this amount, it's quite big, but you actually guys can do your, uh, uh, your calculation. It's uh, 3.75 kilo of uh, uh, strong flour. Uh, we got um, 150 gram of uh, uh, sugar, um, 80 gram of yeast, and a little amount of uh, oil, which can be rapeseed oil, olive oil, or vegetable oil, whatever you go in your storage. As we know now, it's quite difficult to, to get some food on it. So what we're gonna do, we got a nice uh, um, mixer here, pastry mixer. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna just put in there. I'm gonna get the, the, the hook mixer. On the side, we need to, as we know, we are putting, uh, uh, dry yeast, um, we need uh, uh, to mix them up, all these ingredients, with uh, room, I will say, warm room temperature water, which I will say is like around 40 to 42 uh, Chelsea degree. And uh, we're gonna use a hook. It's quite easy to mix them up and put some air onto the mix. If you don't have one of these, you can do also by hand, so that your kids will enjoy to make that themselves. Okay, what are we gonna do? Um, because uh, it's uh, an healthy option for kids and family, what I would like to add, a little bit of humidity, which is uh, grated carrots and uh, grated uh, courgette, which will give uh, a little bit more texture to the dough, a little bit colorful, and a little bit more uh, vitamin, which in this case is vitamin D. Okay, what are we gonna do? We're gonna pour the, this part of grated vegetable. If you don't have carrots or whatever, you can put any vegetable you like, but it should be at least a 10% of the, of the mixture. So, in this case, we're gonna put a very, very slow mixture. As you can see, we start to rolling. And slowly, slowly, we're gonna add the oil, which we say can be vegetable, rusty, or any oil you go in your house. Slowly, slowly, we're gonna start to add some water on it. I will suggest to put a little bit by the time, like that. You can see it has to be a bit wet, but easy to, to work it. Slowly, slowly, we add some water. What we're actually doing now, we are aerating with some air, water, and uh, as you can see, the yeast uh, will make this flour rising. So it will make the dough very soft and nice. After I will show you what you can do with that. Now, I will start to give a little bit more power to the hook. So it's just gonna try to make sure all the meat is being absorbed and mixed up. As you can see, it's quite wet. So we, we wait till all the mixture is being all together. I will say it takes around like eight, nine minutes. With your hand, of course, it will take a little bit long time, but we go all, all the time we want now. Next, after our 90 minutes, that's what we're gonna end up with. That's actually the texture of the, of the dough. It needs to be a little bit sticky, but now what we have to do, we have to wait another five, 10 minutes, let them uh, uh, flour raise up and the yeast start to work it up. So Lade is gonna put a bit of hair inside to the dough. And after that, we can start to shape uh, as, as we like. And I will show you different, different sort of bread and also a focaccia, okay.
let's wait it. <laughs> Hi. So, as you can see, after uh, five, eight minutes, just remove the dough from the from the bowl. Just gonna start to give a little bit shape, with a little bit flour, of course, in the surface. Only will stick. And uh, what we're gonna do? Just try to make uh, a nice bowl. A nice. Just working inside. Just make sure your hands are clean, of course. And from there. We're gonna start to decide what we're gonna do. So we're gonna, we'll show you now just different techniques. All right. Instead of a cutter, like a or knife or whatever you got, you start to break it up in portion. Always make sure your soup face. Uh, oh, you have next to you a little bit of flour. No, just make sure your dough is not sticking in the table in your hand. Of course. So. Let's make a uh, few like buns, okay? We're looking for, I would say, around uh, 80, 100 grams, you know? Which is the same sort of uh, techniques you use for make a pizza dough, pizza bowl. So, you get your dough in your hand, working with your interior hand, you're just gonna push inside. And as you can see, you're getting this sort of shape. It's right, nice and round. Yeah? Just push inside. Make sure you got plenty of flour. And that's what you end up with. Okay? Well, if you are a professional, you can do with one of your hands. But <laughs> let's do an easy way for the kids. All right? You can have also a trail, whatever you go in your house. With the parchment paper, yeah, doesn't need any oil or whatever. So, you carry on do with the other one. You can do any size, any shape you like. So one small, one big, so that you can see that. Now we're doing another way. You can do it to end if you like, but need a little bit more experience for it. Now let's do another shape. You can see like a sort of baguette, little baguette. You can play with whatever you like. In just case of stuff like that, putting on this shape. And you can play with your knife. You do like sort of cut or to make a little bit more excited, you know? As you can see, you can see through the door all the carrots, uh, courgette, uh, which I'm gonna test now after what you can also add some onion, olives, uh, some blush tomato, some cheese, mm. whatever you like. <laughs> as soon as it's a very little amount in the dough, or you're gonna have some sort of issue in the way when you cook it, you know? Now, after, to make that a little bit shiny, what we can do, uh, we get some egg wash with a brush, yeah? And you can play with it. First of all, I would recommend you to let them rest a little bit because the raisin time, it will carry on after the the time, I mean, like today we go like around 20 degrees, you can see this sort of thing is very, very, very quickly and fast. So I will brush with a little bit of the egg wash. If you don't have eggs, you can use uh, butter, you can use again oil, whatever you got in your fridge. And for make it a little bit more smile, we can play with some healthy stuff. As you can see here, we got some pumpkin seed, sesame seed, which are quite healthy, and, uh, and poppy seed. Let's make some little bit fun. With a little bit of poppy seed, two of them. Yeah, you can mix them up as well with some sesame seed. There we go. Let's put a little bit of sesame seed in our baguette. And a little bit of pumpkin seed. You can do whatever you like, actually to make it a little bit more exciting. But it can be a very nice also to make a burger or just to have in the middle of the lunch, you know, it will make you smile. With a nice big piece of cheese, nice hummus, whatever you like. The only thing, you wanna make your own bread, which is very good. Yeah. That's one of the, I mean, a thousand things you can do with a bread. Let's play the kids and uh, yourself, guys, because it's 
quite fun, and this time, you know, we've got time to do it. That's one of them. Now I can explain, I can show you how to do one uh, very simple focaccia, the same dough. For the focaccia, we, we need just a, a gastro tray. It doesn't have to be no stick or whatever. The important thing is uh, to be a little bit oil. Just gonna grab some oil. Okay. There we go. Let's try to make some, uh, some focaccia. Same though we see before when we make some beautiful bread. Now what we're gonna get, we're gonna get one of the tray. What we need, just a little bit of oil in the, on the base. You don't need any, any sort of parchment paper if, if you don't feel comfortable putting it. But this one is gonna make sure all the base is gonna be nice and crunchy. Same though, we get like, a, I would say around 800 gram. Yeah? What we're gonna start with. First of all, make sure your soup face is always plenty of flour. Yeah, we're gonna just try to open and try to get the shape of the of the tray. Doesn't need to be perfectly because we're gonna finish up to open up in the tray. That's why we put in oil as well. All right. Just play all this with your finger. Put a little bit of your body. Put your body on top. When you reach this sort of shape, we're gonna do. We're gonna place. In our gastro tray, it's quite simple, it's quite elastic as you can see, and as you can see, how is it moving? You know, I know it looks like a lot of oil, but, but that's what the focaccia need, which you call focaccia or Genova's focaccia from Genova, quite famous. So now you're gonna start to extend it. You can see the dough is bouncing back, but you just what you need to do, just carry on open, and there we go. In a sort of bread like that, it's lovely to put up olives, cheese, uh, garlic, uh, and butter, like a sort of garlic bread. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for. So make sure on the corner of the lap of pastry. Now, as you can see, now the oil is going on top. You need to pinch them so that the hair will go inside to the dough and it will raise up easy and quickly. After that, you will let them dough on the focaccia base, rest with all your bread next to it for I will say 10 15 minutes. Set up your oven at 180 degrees and I will say cook them for 15 20 minutes. That's the time. And uh, the result for there, it will be this one, a fantastic focaccia. In this case, I use uh, garlic butter, oregano, and rosemary.